DIY everyone, I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at preparing a circuit board. Now in this case, we'll do it a little bit different than uh, most of the videos out there. And that's because I can't really get at the back side of the circuit board. So we're going to have to try to do the repair from the top. This happens to be a circuit board from this treadmill behind me that I'm repairing. Alright, well let's take a look at the supplies and parts that you're going to want for doing some soldering. So obviously we have a circuit board. Now in this case, because this is one that's mounted onto this metal angle, it's got some screws coming in here that hold on components down there, and a bunch of pins here. I really didn't want to mess with trying to get this off and not being sure if I could re-secure everything that needs to go on it. So that's why we're trying to solder from the top. Now there's a couple points I need to do, one right here in the middle and one here on the edge. So in this video I'll try and do the one at the edge so we can see what's going on underneath as well. You may need some um, needle nose pliers, you'll need some solder. Now if you're from uh, other parts of the world, sometimes it's often referred to as solder. I don't know why in America we're calling it solder when it's certainly spelled like solder. Um, some parts, components to repair. In this case, it took me a little effort to track these down. I had to. I found them from DigiKey, uh, which is a great resource to find components like this. Digi, DigiKey.com, um, but it can be challenging. It's uh, you really have to search to hunt and find the correct parts. We've got a damp sponge. I have a soldering iron. Um, fancier ones you can control the wattage. This is a small, uh, inexpensive one. I'll include a link on Amazon where you can pick up a kit to, to uh, solder. It's a 40 watt unit, so usually somewhere in that 30 to 40 watts is a range that uh, will work for small electronics. And then we've got a solder sucker. That's a tool that can be used to, uh, to remove excess solder. That gets on. I mentioned I found the replacement components on DigiKey. Now to do that I took the, the one that was damaged and used calipers to make measurements and then had to search around and look at the drawings, figure out what this part was called and, uh, and search around with the drawings of each component until I found one that had the same measurements. And it seems to be a great fit because we've got two pins that this is going into right here and it lines up well. So we'll try going through the top of the board um, here to do the soldering. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll give it a shot. So I've got my soldering iron. Um, I've tinned it already. I'll do that once again. So in doing that, I'm just touching a little bit of solder on the end of the iron and then using my wet sponge just kind of to help clean it off and get it ready. I'm going to try to heat up my component here. So apply some heat onto these two pins for a little bit. And then after that, I'll try putting my solder soldering iron through these holes uh, briefly. I don't want to melt the circuit board or other components, but I do have solder on the back side that's not allowing this to go down. So I need to melt that, and then we'll um, apply just a touch of solder from the top and hope that it works its way down through these holes and makes the wire connections that are needed. You gotta make sure you're safe while you're working on this. Um, obviously the circuit board's not connected to any kind of electronics or power. Um, don't make the mistake of heating this component up and then grabbing it with your fingers. That's why I've got these needle nose pliers. So I'm trying to apply a little bit of downward pressure while heating up this component. Trying not to melt, melt the circuit board in the process. And I'm going to apply a little bit of solder on the back side as well. This is the one that we just put in. It looks like it's about the same height as this one. Um, I can see the pins. Let's see if we can line that up. The pins can be seen sticking through the solder down here. 
So it would seem that we've made it through. Well, I'll go ahead and see if I can do the same thing, repairing the one down at this end, and uh, and then we'll test out the circuit board. Now that this had a chance to cool down, it's feeling uh, much more firm than before. So looks like we've successfully attached it. Hopefully it's actually made the connections that it needs. Given a, a gentle tug, it's certainly not feeling loose. So there you have it. Um, we've made the connections and hopefully repaired the circuit board from the top, which is a little a uh, bit of a unique scenario that you don't run into too often. Um, we'll test it out and go from there. So there we have it. We fixed this. Thank you so much for watching Tomahawk DIY. If you found this helpful, I appreciate it if you make a donation or give a tip. There will be a link up in the corner of the screen and that will help support the mission of Tomahawk DIY to help people build better lives. Find out more about that uh, on the website. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe, leave comments, and have a great day.